peace and joy guys welcome back to another video drum hiller farms hey today is memorial day weekend so thank you for everyone that served and lost their life for this great country and the freedoms that we have today we're gonna be working on the grain bin site oh <gasps> grain on drum hiller farms i thought you were grass fed we are grass fed but we do supplement our chickens and our hogs with a non-gmo ration of grain and you can see that's what those things are they've been sitting down here for quite a while and uh it's time to do something with them hey guys guess what the attached garage is done the only thing that's left is we're going to be putting a stone on the front of this like we did on the house <clears throat> and right now we're in here soaking this soil because i filled a lot of this dirt in trying to get this to kind of compact itself down i guess they call that hydro compaction or something like that which <clears throat> you know confirms the reason why you don't want bare soil right because when it rains you're gonna compact your soil. So uh, you, those of you that are doing tillage for, for soil compaction, seems pretty silly when you think of it that way, right? Come along with me today. Appreciate you watching the video. Let's go. All right guys, so this is my plan for the grain bins. I'm gonna cut these into the side of the hill with my backhoe. Those grain bins are gonna kinda sit inside this hill a little bit. I've got this drawing i mocked up and uh, if you can make sense out of that well let me know because i drew it but i'm still a little confused they've got pretty cool pieces here this is an end piece you can see this groove goes the other way so you can stack them going this way on this block and uh or they call it a corner or an end or whatever and I've kind of mapped everything out accordingly to use those. I kind of got this hill dug out here. This is roughly how big the bend site is going to be. And I'm going to grab the skid steer get that a little bit closer here to grade i'm going to pull my dump truck over here first i'm going to park it here and then um i'm going to go ahead and fill that dump truck up have i mentioned in this video yet that i really don't know what i'm doing I didn't think I would fill that thing up that quick, but I've got just the place I can unload it at. You know, when I bought this old dump truck, I had several people ask me, well, Why'd you do that? Why'd you buy that dump truck? And you know, I always thought that was the stupidest question. I mean, why'd I buy a dump truck? <laughs> Freaking dump loads, man. Why else? Well, I got it close here. I can tell I'm a little low in this corner over here. I really need to get a transit on it. And uh, I don't have a transit.
down here and give it a push that way. Perfectionist. You? He is. All right, guys, a little break from the uh, excavating construction and time for chores. Here's an update on the chickens. These things are looking beautiful this year. Very, very consistent. You know, last year I feel like we had a lot of big ones and small ones. These are, I mean, if you look at them, they are pretty much identical to the same size, every single one of them. Have a great year raising chickens. This is food, y'all. This is food. <clears throat> if we walked over that way and I showed you the farmer next door, or even the farmer over there, or the farmer over there, I, I don't know what he's raising, but uh, I don't have any corn or soybeans in my refrigerator. Doing a cattle move here, and I just wanted to show you this forage that they're into here. You want to let them in, hon? Poison ivy face. Every year, man, we can't keep from getting poison ivy around here. I don't know what it is. But look at this, guys. Um, this field is beautiful and when you get down in here and look <laughs> look at all the clover and i mean it's everywhere it's not just it's not just right here it's it's everywhere now that's got to be some of the tallest white clover i've ever seen i mean that's 10 12 inches tall and uh this is cool soil down there there's even a little dampness to it and i gotta tell you guys we are we are dry we are extremely dry look more of it we haven't had a rain and going on four weeks and uh guys it's not looking like the next couple weeks we're gonna see a rain so to have this kind of grass brand new calf right there brand new look at that thing spunkier than all get out that was just born this today bull got another bull born yesterday i mean look at what we're leaving behind Gonna make a tag three for the year. He's the 13th calf. See that? 2003, he's the 13th calf. We're gonna put it in his right ear because it's a bull. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Three, 14, 14th calf. 2003, 14th calf. We're gonna put that one in the right ear too because we got two bulls going on here. What's the left? Dude is laid out, man. Talk it out, Baba. Yeah. He's laid out. Please. Well, I'm just saying. Get up. <clears throat> Sorry to wake you up like this, buddy. This guy is a, a day old. He was born yesterday. Big boy. We're gonna go ahead and tag him. Oh. If I can here. You got him? Uh, he's the 13th calf of 2003. That's the way he's 313. You're right, buddy. He's a big boy. There he is. You look at your mama. Everybody moves without you. All right, this farm is piped in with Plass and Auto Waters above ground. This is the only farm that's above ground. 
our lease farm and our home farm all have water lines, you know, four foot below grade, but. <laughs> All right, guys, pastured pork, here we are. Today's their last day in this paddock. Oh, tell me, guys, what you think in the comment section. Is this too rooted up? Do we need to move them sooner than a week? Or is this uh, good enough? Really? Pretty friendly pigs, I can tell you that. This is a little rooted up through here, but you know, everywhere else looks decent up by the water and the feeder is a little rooted, but. All right, guys, last chore of the afternoon. We are training our egg layers to know how to come in and out at night and in the morning. Brought them some feed. Pretty nice little hangout. If you guys want to see the build on this, you can take a look at the page. Got a 35 gallon auto water going to a plasson. So. It is the next day here, and uh, I got a couple more blocks set yesterday. I had to take a sledgehammer to the tongue of that. Apparently that's how you get rid of them. <clears throat> the next block is going to come out like this. This is where the first grain bin is going to sit. teat off this thing the tongue whatever you want to call it you hit it with a sledgehammer enough comes off ah oh. oh, that hurt All right, well, I'm cruising right along here. Things are going pretty smooth this morning. It just sucks getting in and out of the skid steer a hundred times, setting them by myself. I skipped church this morning, so everybody else went to church. That's why I don't have any, any help. Got them all set. Just got to backfill it. I got to put some pea stone around the back side of it for drainage. And uh, 
get a good firm base in here, build this up so that water will want to come out of it. All right guys, day three of the grain site build. You can see I got everything backfilled. I put down some millings here for a base. And there's only one problem I have here, and that's the fact that I wish they would have built them with pockets on this side, which I see why they didn't, because they're too wide. But this thing is top heavy, man. I gotta tell you, if it didn't have pockets for the forks to go into, there's no way you could lift it. And uh, I'm not gonna have any pockets pick it up from this side. So I'm gonna try to just pick it up and set it in place. y'all look at that look at that baby is sweet right there man it looks pretty level too all right so grab the last one here Should have been an excavator. <laughs> Should have been a grademan. Something, man. I mean. All right. Check this out. Boom. Boom. Let's go over to this next one. Bam. Come on now, come on now, that's what I'm talking about, that's what I'm talking about. All right guys, I'm all set. I'm gonna try to compact this a little bit with the backhoe. Other than that, there is the new grain bin site here on Drumhiller Farms. Um, I wanna get some stickers that says non-gmo hog feed non-gmo chicken non-gmo layer uh, or something of that nature one so nobody gets confused about what we're doing here and also so we don't get confused on which one goes to which so these are pretty nice little setup this is made here by jackson industrial construction it's loud so you slide that open there's a sight glass right here that is actually over there in a package i gotta install those um, but put the sight glass in we'll be able to see when we're getting low and then there's a pulley up there that this goes see if i can do this while holding the camera you 
can lock it open like that. You can see the lid is open now. I haven't even climbed up there yet. My neighbor came down and said, man, looking good. He said, man, you're always working. And he left and I thought about it and I thought, wait a minute, this is working? <laughs> this was fun, man. Using all my equipment and uh, man, doesn't really seem like work at all to me, but hey, to each his own. All right, I appreciate you watching the video. I'm gonna do some chores. And then I'm going to relax for a few hours before this great Memorial weekend is, is over with. So, appreciate you watching the video. God bless.